Come with me to the first ever fat con. Yes, that's right, haters. There is a convention just for us fats now. There were so many amazing panels, ranging from Fat Liberation 101 to Fat Lesk to Fat Nerds. I even talked on a panel with the Plus Bus on 101 Ways to Lose the Weight of Fat Hate. There was an amazing plus-size fashion show featuring multiple designers. This one's Chub Rub. I came out to vend and help with the Plus Bus with a few pieces that I carry in their store. They had an incredible vendor's hall with all fat artists, designers, plus-size vintage. Here's some of my art. And here is the amazing Chub Rub Clothing's booth. So cute. It was wonderful to connect with fans and new friends. Thank you so much for supporting my work. There was so much fat entertainment to be had. Look at this. Crafts. Cute little wall we put together. We got a few Grief Cat performances that were very funny. Here's a little fit check. I brought a look every day to the con. <gasps> new friend. <laughs> We had fat pool parties. Here's a little look I will be releasing uh, for Valentine's Day. We did get up to shenanigans. <laughs> I cannot wait for next year's fat con. Did y'all know there was a fat con? Here at Middle MAGA, we support the fat. I'm just here to say, you know, just for the record, Middle MAGA official statement, I am pro-fat. Just a reminder that I am very fat and very sexy. And I am 100% Glorifying obesity. Glorifying obesity. Glorifying obesity. Fat Con dubbed the biggest fat celebration of the year exemplifies the modern shift towards fat positivity. Come with me to the first ever Fat Con. Bar Barbara Walters was savage. I'm like, man, they did journalism back in the day. Okay, Governor, I feel very uncomfortable asking this question when I'm sitting opposite you. But you are a little overweight. More than a little. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Yeah. If I could figure that out, I'd fix it. You know? And how society is attempting to turn physical manifestations of depression, poor habits, and lack of self-care into something celebrated. As you waddle through the Hyatt in Seattle, you can't help but notice the atmosphere. Fat people are so jovial and fun. One of them has a fupa that by itself weighs more than a healthy woman of the same age. And they twisted it into something positive. Fupa pride. It's hard not to laugh and cry at the same time. The event featured more than 30 hours of programming, keynote speakers, a fashion show, and a vendor hall. It's a badge of honor now. The keynote speakers passionately talk about fat liberation, aiming to uplift the voices of people of fat. Can you imagine the history books in the future? America, once a great country. Here are some examples of the downfall. There's a chapter on fat con. They started doing things like fat con instead of getting healthy. It became a badge of honor and it even became a protected class, at least in New York. New York City is on the verge of becoming the nation's largest city to enact weight-based discrimination laws. Fat positivity is sad, though. It's because I see the good in them trying to turn their poor lifestyles into something that could be celebrated. No matter what you look like or what troubles you have, you need to love yourself. But at the same time, you do need to work, at least to me, you can live your life however you want. But the proper way to me to take care of your body as a, is to get off the drugs of sugar, fat, lard, ice cream. Could you imagine, plot twist, imagine a fat con that goes beyond just celebrating size. What if the event included activities like fun obstacle courses, dance-offs that are really like workouts, interactive workshops that get everybody moving and having a blast? Picture a space where healthy, delicious food options are the stars of the culinary show, with chefs offering cooking demos on how to make amateur nutritious meals taste amazing. Attendees could join group walks or light exercise sessions that feel more like social gatherings than workouts. Transforming fat con into a place that encourages healthier habits while still celebrating body positivity, that would be something that would make it truly uplifting and an empowering experience. Now that would be a con worth attending. Middle MAGA. Middle MAGA.